Hallo, dear people, big and small, this is Faye TV with your crazy Auntie Frida. And since yesterday was official Mother Tongue Day, I wanted to spend a small thought on uh, Mother Tongues. Of course, like technically, if you define a mother tongue as the language you grew up with, my mother tongue is German. And uh, but still, uh, if you go way further back, you could even claim that my mother tongue is somewhat related to Icelandic. Because uh, when my aunt came to visit me here in Iceland and I told her I found the language pretty strange, in the beginning, uh, she said, well, a thousand years ago, we all spoke like that. At least Icelandic and German share a common ancestor. And I would actually invite people to learn languages which are uh, related to your own language. Maybe not the closest relative, but it's it's so nice to find something the languages have in common and the stuff that has developed. And uh, people who know me also know I'm a very big advocate for small languages because they can tell people much more about like a different world perception. Uh, for instance, um, Icelandic is a very archaic language, uh, has a lot of deflections that German and other Germanic languages have dropped. And uh, Icelandic basically uh, almost doesn't adopt any uh, foreign words. Like similar to French, there is an academy that has to approve new words. And usually you form the new words out of something that is uh, basically there already. Um, since Iceland is an old farmers and fisher society, um, for instance, the word telephone is identical to the word for telegraph thread, telegraph wire. It's sime. So but uh, like the youth language uh, takes over words mostly from English quite readily. So actually one of my favorite expressions of the Icelandic language is ye fila feta. Ye is I. Fila is actually a derival of this English feel, but uh, after some time someone told me that fila is also elephants like one feet is one elephant and that's feet with uh, two two l's and the two l's together produces strange cracking sounds but like several elephants are fila with one et with one l mm -hmm. i'm speaking as something i'm saying yeah. um i feel that and that doesn't mean i feel ill or i feel good and that means I like it. Like if there is a song on the radio, people like, let's say, 35 and under say, Ye feel And uh, actually the, the pun with the elephant has become popular in some art projects. I actually thought my art project counselor had invented it, but uh, that's not true because other people have used it as well. And... Let's don't forget the German language. Uh, my favorite German word is actually Luftpost, or generally the fact that German likes putting two words together and they mean something totally new. Like Luft means air and Post means mail. And I think the word Luftpost uh, sounds a little bit like someone is talking into a can, but I like. Um, Luft because it's so light and I like post because I write a lot of post yeah and Luft post uh, together gives me the feeling as if you were like sending 
mail that is made out of air rather than sending mail through the air. Like, I don't know. Could they, couldn't this be Luft Post? Of course, we also have these boring airmail stickers, the blue ones. And But what I really liked is a Luftpost papier as a teenager, like airmail paper, like this blue one that was like sort of like sandwich paper, but like really thin and it made this nice sound. And uh, it was so thin so you could fit more sheets into the letter. And you could make it lighter because you paid remarkably less for the lighter letters. And I always thought you had to use this blue Luftpost paper when you send something to America. Uh, that I figured out you can also use normal paper. And a couple of years later, um, this blue airmail paper was actually out of stock. So I will... I guess next time I'm in Germany, make the experiment to ask a child what Luftpost is, because children always have these funny explanations to everything, and I'll keep you posted. And my offer stands. You can win, uh, like, an envelope decorated according to your wishes if you give me an idea uh, what you want to see next. Happy Mother Tongue Day and happy thinking about languages. Bye.